Pakistan is miffed with the top United Nations body, that is the UN Security Council, which is currently chaired by India. Why? Well, the body held a meeting last Friday to discuss the deteriorating situation in Afghanistan, and Pakistan was not invited. The invitation to the meeting was not extended to Islamabad despite their specific request to the council chair, which at present is India. In fact, not only was Pakistan not invited to the meeting, but there were some scathing observations at the UNSC special session about how Pakistan was aiding and abetting Taliban's rampage in Afghanistan. The UN Security Council meeting, in fact, exposed the depth of the crisis in Afghanistan and the duplicity of the Taliban and Pakistan that talk peace and pursue war at the same time. Afghanistan's permanent representative to the UN, Ghulam Isakzai, accused Pakistan of providing safe haven and logistical support to the Taliban, including fundraising events, transfer of bodies, treatment of injured Taliban, in Pakistani hospitals. Take a listen to what he said in response to a direct question at the media meet. Have you or will you provide material evidence for the Security Council that Pakistan is indeed providing a supply chain for the Taliban? Well, our government is constantly in touch. We've been providing uh, evidence to Pakistani government. And should the members of the Security Council uh, want that evidence, we're ready to provide them. Now, India also took a waist dig at Pakistan for providing safe havens to terrorists at the UNSC session. Now, Indian ambassador to the UN, T.S. Tirumurthy, said that terrorist safe havens and sanctuaries in the region must be dismantled immediately. Terrorist chains must be disrupted. All this for enduring peace in Afghanistan. Now, usually at such multilateral meetings, Pakistan gets away by mouthing platitudes uh, and peace, even as it continues to help the Taliban run amok on the ground in Afghanistan. But not at this one, because it was simply not invited. Angry and miffed at this snub by the India-led UN Security Council, Pakistan Foreign Office issued a statement over the weekend. The statement accused the UNSC of making uh, its platform available to those wanting to peddle a false narrative against Pakistan. In the statement, Islamabad patted itself on the back and, you know, for its quote unquote, uh, you know, its contribution to the ongoing peace process in Afghanistan. Islamabad actually even bent ahead and called Afghanistan's permanent representatives' accusations as baseless with a view to mislead the international community. But it is difficult to buy Islamabad's arguments. The Afghanistan government and President Ashraf Ghani in particular have repeatedly slammed the Imran Khan government for backing the Taliban and causing mayhem in the country. No doubt that there was optimism for a while about the peace talks uh, in Doha, ending the prolonged conflict in Afghanistan. But the Taliban and Pakistan have merely used them to delay negotiations while they have stepped up their violent campaign to overthrow a legitimate government in Kabul. As president of the United Nations Security Council for the month of August, New Delhi has categorically stated peace in Afghanistan as its key agenda. And India does seem to be doing all it can to mobilize international uh, opinion, to mount pressure on Pakistan and the Taliban to stop the violence and start talking with Kabul. Pakistan may not like it, but someone needs to bell the cat. Stay tuned to Hindustan Times for all the latest updates. And don't forget to press the bell icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel and never miss an update from us.